Hi, good evening, Marie. Thank you so much. My name is Paul Belay. I am a candidate for the Lowell City Council. I ran in 2009, receiving 3,200 votes, which made me decide to do it again. I'm a lifelong resident of Pawtucketville, neighborhood activist and leader, and I'm asking you for one of your nine votes on November 8th. Kevin Ryder. Good evening, and thank you. I want to thank the United Teachers of Lowell, Local 495, the Merrimack Valley Central Labor Council, for having us this evening. Another forum for the candidates and the incumbents to come out and uh, answer some questions, and for folks at home to uh, judge us and hopefully make uh, good votes on November 8th. Um, just finishing up my sixth year, I enjoy doing what I do, and I'm um, looking for one of your nine votes. I'm number one in the uh, ballot. Thank you. Ray Doyle. My name is Frederick Doyle. I'm a candidate. For challenger Frederick Doyle, I should say. Okay. I'm a challenger tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm a candidate for the City Council of the City of Lowell. I've lived here my whole life. I'm very upset with the running of the way the city is. I think it's being mismanaged, and I'm trying to do the best I can to clean house. And I want to thank you for inviting me here tonight. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, thank you to the IRT to the Lowell as well. My name is Rodney Elliott. I'm a candidate for the City Council. Two years ago, I pledged to work to reduce wasteful spending and taxes, and I kept my promise by voting against the last two budgets uh, that increased taxes for uh, six years in a row. I understand that we need to continue to provide services, but our taxes have gone up, our services have gone down, spending has gone up. I've also filed countless motions uh, on a broad spectrum of issues uh, on your behalf, and I'll continue to do so. Thank you. Hey, Kennedy. Hi, my name is Ed Kennedy, and I'm running as a candidate for the City Council who is qualified, experienced, and dedicated. Um, I have a master's degree in public administration. I served on the City Council for four terms between 1978 and 1985, and I'm a lifelong resident of the city. And I'd ask for one of your votes on Tuesday, November 8th. Thank you. John Lee, you remember you have 30 seconds, so 15 is okay, because you're all being very impressive. One more question. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Uh, thank you, uh, Marie. And thank you for having us here. Thank you for everyone that's attending. My name is John Lady. Um, I'd like to be one of the next city councilors. I've served five terms on the Lowell School Committee, and I feel that I've been a strong advocate for education in the city of Lowell, and I'd like to do the same for you now on the city council. Uh, my name is John Leahy, uh, number 12 on the ballot. Thank you. Lonnie Lord. My name is Monty Lurie. I'm a lifelong resident of the city of Lowell. I graduated from Lowell High right here in UMass Lowell. I'm a retired letter carrier with the United States Postal Service. I spent 30 years working in the neighborhoods of the city. I, I feel I'm very familiar with the city. And I spent several years representing the National Association of Letter Carriers out of Washington with the 5th District. I'm a first time candidate. Thank you. John McDonald. Hello everyone, thank you for coming tonight. Thank, and now I'd like to uh, say hello to the television and radio audience. Uh, number 14 on the ballot, I'd like to ask you for one of you, uh, that you consider me for one of your nine votes. My three priorities, public safety, economic development, property taxes, and fees. Um, we'll tell you, if you consider me for one of your nine votes, uh, I will be for increasing revenue, and I'll be a no vote for raising property taxes and fees on the residents in the city of Bull. Thank you. Okay, we're going to begin the questioning. If, if it seems that I am saying the names too much, uh, remember that we have a radio audience, so we want to let make sure the radio audience knows who's asking the question and who is answering the question. So it's very seem redundant, but it's really not. So we're going to begin with Kim Salma. 